The name of this map is Cloud Kingdom LE. I realize that everybody else maybe knows this already, <laughs> but um, I don't. So <laughs> it's Cloud Kingdom LE. It's it's the one with with the snaky gold crap in the middle. Um, this is actually a really interesting map for a bunch of reasons. Um, mostly because it's purple, and purple maps are the most interesting. I mean, you get like Shikaris, interesting map. You know, it's purple. Um, what else is purple? That one like four seasons ago, where you had, like, the random-ass low-ground third that was, like, in that little sea of low-ground with the rocks on the... I should really learn the names of maps. Um, PVZ, I'm pretty sure this is, like, Masters of Diamond or some crap, so it's not going to be anywhere as bad as some of the other games that I've casted by some of the other games. I mean, less than... And by bad, I mean frustrating for me, but possibly entertaining for you, depending on how terrible your sense of humor is. Um, and it's PVZ again. Like, I don't... I selected these games at, at mostly random, I swear to god, like it was just the three that looked the most interesting to me on the new tab of Cast It, so yeah. Um, Protoss thrown down his pile in the right place. Am I wrong? I mean, wrong. Um, unless he's not going to build a forge, and there's no reason to not build a forge, because forge is the best building at denying Zerg bases. He's going to make a gateway instead, hopefully he's better at this matchup than I am, and by better at this matchup than I am, I mean, um, 14 pool. He saw the probe. He knows it's a two-player map. He says, fuck this. I'm not going to get my hatchery blocked, which is a decision. I'm not going to say whether or not I think that's the appropriate decision. Um, it is. But, yeah. Gas coming up for Tos. Looks like he's going to do some one base crap. Not even going to bother with the Forge Fire Stupid. Like, I don't... This is a 33-minute game. Okay, um... Obviously, you can draw out a one base game for some time. It's possible. I just don't see the benefit of doing a one base build versus just fucking four fast expanding and doing like a six gate, a seven gate, seven gate, two MO, plus one, plus one bullshit timing attack. You know, like you've got so many options here. Uh, Cybercore, we're going to come up here for Protoss, who's actually Dolan, um, in a minute. And then his opponent is Claw. Claw. Alright, Claw versus Dolan. Who wins? Gooby, please don't spoil. <laughs> Memes. Um, oh my god, did he throw down a Cybercore there? Wow, so fucking BM. Look at that. Cybercores have like, uh, all of the health. I think Fortis have like 800, Gateways have like 1000. And Cybercores have like 1100. So it's the most fucking BM shit you can do. Um, this is gonna get cancelled at 95%. Or if it doesn't get cancelled at 95%, I will be mildly surprised. In the meantime, uh, Warp Kid's being credited for Protoss. Protoss has cut probes. <gasps> so, we're gonna see some sort of dumb Warp Gate. Timing attack. Um, bunch of links coming up for Claw, our reserve player. Um, is that not a Warp Gate? Like, like I, I assume... I assumed... I assumed that I could make an ass me out of both of us. Um, so we're gonna see what happens with that. Oh my god, you can't... Okay, Zerg has eight links, because Protoss forced him to build eight links by building a cyber core there. Protoss has a sentry and a stalker. He's going to have to defend with a sentry and a stalker against eight links. Who wins? Eight links. Look at this shit. Like, why, why would you... I don't see this... Maybe he's better than I am. If Claw Micro's here, he gets a free stalker. Wow, he microed. He got a link on the other side of the force field. He can start harassing the sentry of the link. He gets a free pylon. Look at this. Maybe he should have actually forge fast expanded. <laughs> I'm so bad with the name jokes. Alright, uh, cancel's been forced. Um, there's no energy on the sentry, so I really think that Claw could be getting more up in Dolan's shit, but he's choosing to settle with not killing those probes. Forcing Dolan to full wall, that's pretty good. Uh, sentries don't actually kill Link very fast. They do like 6 DPS down from the 8 that they did 2 years ago in beta. <laughs> I don't think anybody else remembers that. Um, Dolan's gonna cancel full wall. Oh my god, Link's coming back up, fourth in the force field, pretty good. Sentries, regen, energy, at the same rate of any everything else in the game, they get about 1 a second. And by second, I mean fake game second. And by second, I mean it might not actually be a second. But we are gonna see... Um, Dolan with three gates, and warp gates, so he should, he should, he should be able to safely expand here. Um, and by that I mean he's gonna lose 
You can, mm, a move. A move at the center. Come on, bro. You can do it. I believe in you. Whatever. You got a free fucking force heal. That's good enough. Um, Zerg has been joining this entire time, by the way. So if, if we look at the units tab, he's still down somehow, which makes no sense. Um, oh! Because he wasted all of his money getting a third. That's almost as good. And he's got gas. For, why does he have so much gas? What, what is he... Okay, so he's mining with, like, what, 8 drones there? Yeah, on minerals? And he's got, like, 16 drones on So he's got 24 drones on minerals and 12 drones on gas. So he's getting gas to minerals at a 2 to 1 ratio, which means that for every roach he makes, he will have 25 random-ass gas he will have nothing to do with. Bad. Instead, you could have, like, one geyser and be humping lings and drones with the remaining shit. Um, whatever, he's, he's, he's ahead on drones now. Um, my guess is that when I just tabbed over and was like, how many drones do you have? He probably was producing like 15 because he was busy microing his lings and not hitting 5 SD. It's probably not 5 for him, it's probably 4. It's probably people have on 4. Oh my god, it's 4, 5, 6, and 7. These are individual? Pro? Yeah, I'm too lazy to do that. Uh, but then again, I don't use hotkeys other than like 1 and 5. Uh, which is probably why I'm so bad at this game. Speed coming up. Um, we see a common trend among Zerg, Zerg players is to research speed uh, once Zerglings are no longer effective in the game. Um, in most matchups, you're like, hey, my Lings are useless, I'm going to get speed. And then you don't make Lings for the rest of the game. Uh, we're going to see how Claude does on this, whether or not he actually does that. Um, and he's going to have enough crap that he's going to be able to defend his third fairly effortlessly against this attack. I mean, fairly effortlessly, I mean, he's going to need to micro a bit. Um, and he's going to need to get his army out to protect these. What up the crap is popping out of the eggs? Overlord does go down, supply block and claw. So he's now going to be able to make uh, units, which nullifies reinforcement advantage. But those are really shitty force fields. Like, he just lost three zealots anyway, despite throwing down three force fields, four force fields. And he's going to get pushed back. Um, so, yeah! Claws on three bases, uncontested. Dawn's on two bases, uncontested. Although, uh, he's got no cannons, so Roach is like. Claw could just fucking A move and probably take the game at this point. And Claw has a trivial harvester lead, and remember that he's going to have uh, more even saturation because he's on more bases, and he's got more production because he has three hatcheries, and he hopefully will have three queens in a second. He's spending all that excess gas, uh, getting lair, getting upgrades, getting uh, link speed, which he doesn't need, get a plus one ma uh, range, which he does need, given his unit composition, and Donald's going to come out for another attack. He's got plenty of proxy pawns, and he's got another probe to build another one. Um, in the meantime, we, what we actually see is Claw moving his army away from the base that he's getting attacked at, uh, which is... Like, he's got link speed. Why doesn't he have really good tabs? Hatchery doesn't have, actually have very much health, and there's no, um, no transfuses to save it, so Claw's probably going to lose this hatch. Uh, on the other hand, Donald's probably going to lose the entire fucking army to the hatchery, so... Uh, he could lose the game! Uh, he's going to reforce field, like, there's, there's that space there where you can move things. Hatchery does go down... Uh, 12 roaches coming up for Claw. If he doesn't A-move him in the game, then he's stupid. Um, like, really. Really, 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 really. Remember, uh, he's got fucking 29 roaches against 12 stalkers in 5 centuries? Do the matter. Roaches are straight up better than stalkers. Um, two cannons coming up for Dolan. Not gonna save him. Shouldn't save him. Will save him. I need to... I'm so fucking pessimistic with all of this crap. Oh my god. Um, yeah, but, but really, like, you've got, okay, so, look at this, plus one attack just finished, yeah, Gleal, so speed, speed is about to finish, you've got link speed, so you've got instant fucking reinforcements, and you've got a massive army advantage, why don't you win the game? He's at least a 9th third for Roadhouse, which is a pretty good use of his time, it's gonna get cancelled though, and he's gonna run away from this army, come on, get him closer, get him closer, you can do it bro. Uh, you got a micro shit around this force field. He lost four roaches, four, six force fields, five force fields, and yeah, that's pretty good. I would take it. I would totally take that shit. And he's not reinforcing. Like, again, if you have link speed, you might as well take advantage of the fact that it gives you into three and four cements anywhere on the map. Losing four roaches to not paying attention to his army, and he's finally got a decent concave to come up and kill a lot of stalkers here. But he's not being quite aggressive enough, even though the force fields are expiring, and he could have probably gotten his entire army up and kill a lot of things. Like, he doesn't need these roaches to do anything. He can easily kill a half of Dolan's army. Um, and... Yeah! Pick up some sentries so they stop regenerating and energy. Pick up some stalkers. Oh my god! Proxy balance. Proxy balance doing work here. 
Um, this is always better overlord than you're having the map, I can throw off. So that shit like this doesn't happen. Uh, are we gonna say cancel? Yes, we are gonna say cancel. Gun does go down, so he's out 75 plus 50 minerals for his troubles. Uh, but... Dolan is out of 300? 400? For the zealots? Um, the fucking stupid ass infester upgrade is about to finish. So we're gonna see three infestors popping up. Four claw, and those are gonna do wonders. Uh, Blink's about halfway done for Dolan. Uh, and both players are about even on upgrades. A couple of these proxy columns going down. The important one is not, though. And that spine is going to be able to grow. One spine is going to watch all of Claw's army come in. He's actually got enough uh, force field that he can do that. He could he could easily beat the natural. He, he could have killed all his fucking overlords. He could have supply blocked Claw. He could have killed all of the infestors that are just popping out of this. He could he could. <laughs> um, I realize that I'm like making uh, hyper aggressive calls all day. By calls, I don't mean Colossi. I mean, like, I am I am saying, if X player A moves with all of his units, Y happens. Um, and I realize that most people don't like A moving with all of their units in semi-high level games, but, like, he could have gotten at least four infestors for his entire army. And he would have been in about the same position that he is now. E.g., if Claw has a really good engagement, Dolan dies. If Dolan has really good force fields, Claw doesn't win the game. Uh, Dark Shrine coming up for Claw. Dolan has... No detection, no detection, no detection. But he does have fungals, which are detection, so he's got some detection. Um, I mean, I don't like defending against DTs with infestors, but you can. You can just warp in, and by warp in, I mean warp in some overseers there, so it's not a big deal. Clock kind of up, really nice, uh, some city with these warp gates and the cannons, though. On the other hand, some city's actually going to hurt Dolan. Um, and this force field is one of the most useless things I've ever seen in my life. Um, this cannon's go down, a bunch of infested terrain, I can add a bunch of DPS, so there's going to be a bunch of gateways dying for Dolan. Uh, you can see that Dolan's army can't really get into position to defend. The infestors are just going to pull out three gateways, which are going to go in and be sacrificed, half of them, some of them. Infested terrains are continuing to do some damage here, which is exactly what they need to do. Um, and that didn't do anything. Both players just wasted a shit ton of energy on their crafty units. I guess a couple of centuries probably went down to Dolan. Like, he's down to one. Um, but, like, the game's even. And by even, I mean Protoss is massively at an advantage, considering the comparative food and tech levels. Um, by food and tech, I mean food and uh, upgrade macro. And by macro, I mean, like, basis, not, not production. Like, Protoss... Protoss should have gone High Templar instead of calls, uh, or High Templar in addition to calls. He needs to be getting some sort of... Is that Pylon finally die? Wow, it was so bad. Um, he needs to be getting some sort of like air or something to deal with uh, corruptors. Uh, and he needs to be languidly heading towards the mothership, I think. DTs! So I'm just going to come down in a second. That's probably what happened. Um, I'm actually going to die. Nope, nope, nope. Spore finishes. Why didn't he just fungle it? Ugh. I don't think the big I wonder what building that was. Existation pit, really? Wow. Cool. Um, the downside of making DTs is that you force her to get detection, which means that all your over observers, that's the word, get killed. Uh, and we saw that happen. Right there. God, I... <laughs> I miss the infestation for dying. Um, he can easily deny this... Fourth? Yeah, fourth. Oh my gosh, now it's gonna come and try to snipe the hatch, and they're not going to. Pretty close, though. It's like 280. Where's that DT? Oh, it's right there. Free kills. This is so annoying. Like, it's so annoying when you're floating 1500 minerals and haven't thrown down a spawn of spine on every base. Like, granted, I'm terrible about doing this, too, but you just gotta do it. Hatchery's gonna come up fine. Claw doesn't have anywhere near enough uh, queens to start saving his hatcheries from certain doom. His fourth goes down, his army's gonna come up uh, in time to protect this hatchery, though. And the zealots and the dark uh, templar are gonna die, but whatever. Protoss is up bases on Zurich, like, straight up up bases. 
Um, Claw only really has a ground-based army, and there's my ground-based, I mean, ground-bound, I mean, non-flying, I mean, little booties instead of wingies. Uh, Claw has an entirely earth pony and unicorn army, so he's going to have trouble against Colossi, because Colossi are really weak against Pegasus ponies, but they're really good against unicorns and earth ponies. They're terrible against alicorns. I guess the Mothership is really the only alicorn. Well, Mothership's and Ravens, I guess. They're aircast units. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. I probably just lost like 50 subscribers. Um, oh my god, that pylon. Is that Envision? I think it was Envision. I'm just going to assume it is, because I don't know what the hotkeys are. Actually, I do. It's, um... No, that's the start button. Uh, that's not it. Whatever. <laughs> Way too confusing. Um, what are the hotkeys? Christ. Um, I mean, I... God damn it, what is that? Walking. There's something I can hit, it's like V? Yeah? Yeah, it is V. Okay. It's in vision. Okay. So you can just... Yeah, wow, look at this. It's so dead. Oh, this is the deadest of the dead hatcheries. And we see actually a really good unit control from, from Dawn. He's moving his army up into position because um, Claw's probably going to freak out and be like, Oh my god! But he's not. He's uh, commentator's cursing. Seven! Corruptors coming out, making all that stupid referencing I just did completely irrelevant. The Dolan's in a really good position right now, like he's turned down Stargate, he's got a flight food lead actually, um, and he's just continually doing some damage here. Uh, he does understand that Claw has this Corruptor, so he's got to be really careful. He's going to pull back and wait for more Colossi, he's reinforcing across the map, you get two more production. These four Zealots could do nothing because there's spines there, more Corruptors coming out. Uh, it looks like he's actually going to miss the window here. Um, the window of things being able to be done, um, but he's like fucking maxed, so whatever. Fleet Beacon's gonna go down in a second, he's starting shield upgrades because he's that poor. Nine Broodlords in production, this probably were, I don't know, I guess they're better than, um, Corruptors dealing with calls because they also can shoot other things, but still, like, Okay, so we're, we're at a really interesting part of the game right now, am I really interesting? I mean, um, if Toss can hold out long enough to make a mothership, he wins. Unless something changes, um, because they're stuck in three bases. If he can't, uh, and if Claw can force an engagement, if he's got fungals, like he's got fucking nine? No, oh my god, eleven infestors right now. Eleven infestors, nine breed lords, and a bunch of roaches. So, he's actually in a, in a, a really good position. Uh, and Protoss has ten more harvesters, which at this point in the game is going to hurt him, uh, because he doesn't have as big of an army. Um, upgrades are going to be really similar. Yeah, upgrades are really similar. Um, so we see that Claw has a more better death ball, like, frankly. Um, which is annoying, I guess, for Dolan, but we're gonna see how this works out. Um, Corruptor is, again, not very good against Pekasai, uh, which Broodlords most definitely are. But Blink Stalkers are really fucking good, and they are gonna get the Blink. Oh yeah, Blink's been gotten. Uh, so Fungos are going to go down to these Stalkers, but not before they can focus down one. Two Broodloads down, three brood, Broodloads down, really good focus fire coming up by Dolan. But all of those Fungals, plus uh, all those Roaches, plus all of those uh, Broodlings are going to do a lot of work. And it looks like um, this engagement is overwhelmingly going in Claw's favor. Fungals, yeah. And Broods are pretty fucking good against Grandeers. Um, yeah, he's... he's, he's you should not be throwing down the, the Terrans there, like, that's, that's a really useless place. Maybe. W what are these Brutaloids even dying to? Like, didn't he have three a second ago? What are... What's hitting them? Wow! Okay. Um, so... Because the Infestors pulled back, and because Colette Corruptors... Sorry, Colossi are really fucking getting scrand units, uh, those Infested Terrans. Just look like all the Brutaloids did actually go down, Claw's losing his Overseers. Morphing in 18 Corruptors! In the meantime, Dolan has nowhere near that much production because he's like uh, way closer to being supply blocked. He's got a mothership coming up, three armors about to finish. One shields did finish. Two cannons going down, Tom is going down, so he's going for the super, super, super death volley comp. Uh, and it's gonna fucking work for him. I mean, he needs to. Um, what he doesn't realize, because he doesn't have an, an uh, OBS in position, is that uh, Claw's going like pure fucking air, so he really needs Void Race, Void Race Stalkers, Templars, Mothership, Archons, I guess? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Archons are good. Um, to 
fight this, uh, the Colossi are going to be really good at clearing Broodlings, so that they're, they're going to limit the, the Broodlord damage a little bit, but Broodlings still do like 40 damage, even if the Broodling just dies instantly. Um, so, yeah. Overseer being morphed in for Claw, he needs more than that, because there's going to be Mothership, he's going to do like here for Mothership's going to lag the crap out of my computer in about 20 seconds. Um, and Claw's just maneuvering around his army. I think uh, Dolan could have killed this hatchery if he had known that it was there. He could have killed this hatchery if he'd wanted to. He might have even been able to kill this one uh, right after that battle. But instead he just took his time remaxing. Like, he still isn't maxed. He's floating uh, enough minerals that he could easily throw down the remaining 10 supply, but he's probably just waiting until he can um, do that. He's waiting for his Templar archives to finish. Uh, he's got plenty of feedback here. Feedback is second the best spell in the game against Infestors, uh, because Infestors really need all of their energy to do things. They're not like sentries, you know, where you get on the one um, force field, and then you're like, yay, best unit in the game. Um, Ling's coming out for Dolan, which is a perfectly fucking useless waste of supply at this point. Um, or, sorry, Ling's coming out for Claw. Dolan actually has really good Sin City, and he's got enough Colossus that Ling's are literally going to die instantly. Uh, like, well before they actually do anything. But by good sensitivity, I mean the cannon isn't actually done yet, and these are going to do a lot of damage. Wow, I'm so bad at calling this ship. Um, Mothership's going to clog everything, though, <laughs> and we're going to see Lings against Invisible Cannon who wins. Uh, invisible Cannon looks like. Actually, that just freed up a bunch of supply for Dolan. Like, he's going to mine out um, somewhere soon, eventually, because we're at that stage in the game. Bunch of Archons, Mothership calls out, no loiters yet. He needs to make Void Rays. If he makes Void Rays, Zerg has to have Corruptors. If Zerg has to have Corruptors, Zerg has to have the most useless unit in the game. Protoss wins. Corruptors are so bad. Um, on the other hand, Zerg actually is going to have an air upgrade advantage. Why oh, am I not calling this guy Claw? I think he's got the coolest fucking game still call name, and I'm still calling him Zerg. Uh, Nero coming out for Claw, um, which is a really good thing for him coming out with, given that Motherships exist. But again, Neural. LOL, what are you going to do? Um, Dolan's just kind of balling around with his death ball. He's being a baller. He's bouncing from wall to wall of the map with his army, just clearing creep. Um, like, at this stage in the game, creep doesn't do shit. Is that the carrier upgrade? Or is it the phoenix upgrade? It's the phoenix upgrade. He's getting the phoenix upgrade despite having no phoenixes. He's like, I don't want to make void rays. I'm going to use uh, useless upgrades instead. I mean, granted, he's supply blocked, but still. Um... I really like the patrolling on the Zealots, making sure that Zerg doesn't take those additional last two bases. Uh, Dolan isn't really too concerned with the spinning at this point in the game. He's got his death ball done, he's got really nice upgrades, he's got 200-200. Uh, so, like, I mean, granted, he could throw down like fucking 50 fucking cannons up here and be good, but I guess he really just wants to be in a position where he can remax with his gateways. Um, I would love to see a, a warp prism down here with this army. Um, because why not? Oh my god. Flyer tax 3? I don't think I've ever seen that again. Nine gateways coming up there for Dolan. Um, so, like, if he, he's in a position where remaxing on gateway units helps, uh, he wins the game. He's not gonna be in that position. Like, <laughs> uh, Brood and Festers are out, and gateway units are, are, are good, granted, uh, and, and they're really necessary when you've got the supporting units, but at this point, I would... Oh my god, that's a lot of DTs. Did it kill some probes or something? He's got Overseers. He's got Overseers and Spines. But still, look at that Infester get away because of those... That is a lot of Broodlings. There's three tabs of Broodlings, Christ. There's at least 45 Broodlings. Um, yeah. Dolan is just kinda chillin' and letting Zerg hit 200-200. Um, he could force a camp on this hatch, he could kill this. Like, Spines don't do that much against that army at this point. And we see the big battle! Let me do GSL camera angles, ready? Whoop! Alright, we got this. <laughs> uh, this is all going to come down to Vortex and Feedbacks, and there goes the Vortex. Uh, Claw's best option at this point is really just to move the rest of his army into the Vortex and pray that Dolan doesn't have good uh, Archon positioning. Feedback, feedback, you got a feedback! Big Neural's coming down. I'm sorry, I'm not actually seeing all of uh, Claw's army because of the stupid camera angle I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna call me Dolan. Oh, Dolan's Tarmy army comes down, and look at all the Broodlings die instantly. They said that Archon Toilet was nerfed about 15 patches ago, but no, you can still lose 150 food of Broodlords and Infestors instantly. Nothing else mattered, that was just 100% the Vortex.
claw is dead. Yep. Um, buttons, bottom, video, you can hit them if you want to, you don't have to. Um, I apologize for playing this race. Have fun.